Hi guys, my name is Lawrence Baker. I'm an Adobe Certified Expert in Photoshop CC and Photoshop Lightroom. This is going to be a reasonably quick video about virtual copies and snapshots. Very quickly, if you're new to Lightroom, everything you see on this screen, on my screen, only exists in the Lightroom catalog. And in the Lightroom world, the catalog is king. Every image here only exists in the catalog. Of course, it's related to my original file, but my original file will always be untouched, whether it's RAW, TIFF, PNG, JPEG, PSD, it doesn't make any difference. It will not work on the original file. These edits and metadata changes only exist inside the Lightroom catalog. That out of the way, I am now gonna to go to virtual copies. I'm in the library module, and I'm allowed to create a virtual copy in the library module. I have one here. I'm going to delete it now. And it will say, do you want to remove the virtual copy? Yes, I do. Virtual copies. Let's create one. Photo. Create virtual copy. Keyboard shortcut. Command or control apostrophe. Mac or PC respectively. Let's create it. Now I've got my little images to show up. Um, things I like to see. So you might not see virtual copy there. But the only way you can tell it is a virtual copy, or definitely a virtual copy, is by the folded up left hand corner, bottom left hand corner here. So that shows you it's a virtual copy. It's no different at the moment from the original file, or original file in the catalog. I can do what I like to this image. The disadvantages to virtual copies for me are, if you don't name them, and they're not radically different from the original, I'm not 100% sure what I've done to those images, I could look for the history, but that would be very laborious. So it's a good idea to try and name your virtual copies. Now, if I press F8 now, as you'll see, it's got in the metadata panel, copy one. Now, I could name it here. That might help me. Now, if the image is radically different, that would show me that I don't need to name it because I've only got to look at it. Let's say I made a black and white image out of it. Now... The advantages to virtual copies is they always show up in your grid view. In other words, they clog up your grid, but that might be to your advantage because you can't see snapshots because snapshots exist within the develop module only. You could probably use some form of keywording or some kind of search facility to find snapshots, but really you wouldn't do that normally. So virtual copies are for what I call, where I definitely want to see a different version of my image. Snapshots are for when I want to play around with my image a little bit and get back to the point where I know the image is safe, I've done the best I can with it. So for normal photography work, I would probably, let's say, work on this image here in a develop module, make a snapshot because I like how it looks, and then just really start playing around with it. I can always come back to the snapshot. That's what I use snapshots for. Now, you can also create, obviously, a virtual copy within the develop module, but you cannot create a snapshot anywhere else but the develop module. And the reason being is snapshots are just points in history that you've named. Now, you can go to develop new snapshot, but look at that keyboard shortcut, command or control N, Mac or PC. And we all know what that means we should do. That means new file in most programs on most systems. I just remember the keyboard shortcut, but you can go to develop and new snapshot. Now, let's say I'm quite happy with that image at the moment. I don't want to do any more to it. I'm going to create a snapshot, um, give it a name, something descriptive. Let's say um, I like this. It doesn't matter what you call it. Now, I can do what I like to this image. As I say, a snapshot is just a named point in history. So I've reached that point in the history. I can do something ridiculous here and go clarity right up, put the vibrant saturation up, you know, the old almost a cross process effect. And now I could save that command N or control N and call it Kodak Ektachrome. There you go. So I've got two snapshots. As I say, I can go back in history but I can say, I like this. This is the one that I got to for normal photographs. This is the one where I was playing around. If I now go back to the grid, and that's the original image, I don't know what the snapshots are on it. I could probably find them by 
doing some kind of filter or some kind of search or keywording images with snapshots in certain ways, but that would be ridiculous. So that's the disadvantage of a snapshot. And I use a snapshot for when I want to experiment a bit, but not necessarily keep the snapshot. Now, if I did create a snapshot and I really like something, then I might create a virtual copy out of it. So snapshots are really my way of playing around a little bit. And then I might say, I really like that. And I want to keep it separate from the original image so I can see it in the grid. I might then create a virtual copy out of it. Snapshots are sort of little points in history that you might say, well, I might play around a little bit, but I might go back to that original one. And then you might not ever use the snapshot again. They're just there to sort of help you go back in history if you're playing around. Virtual copies of when you want to do something more permanent because you're going to see it in the grid. I hope that's given you some sort of insights in how to work with uh, snapshots and virtual copies because I use them a lot, but I would say that it might be good practice to name your virtual copies. But it doesn't really matter if you don't because you're going to see it visually what you've done. So uh, the stacking is quite important to remember with virtual copies as well. Stacking is just Lightroom's way of putting related images together. You can actually auto stack by time. Lightroom will always auto stack virtual copies. So yeah, that's the disadvantage and advantages. Use virtual copies when you want to go off at a tangent and create something different like a black and white. Use snapshots as little development points in history and say, well, actually, I quite like that, but I'm going to experiment a little bit more. So if you do something more permanent, use the virtual copy. I hope I haven't gone on too much, guys. Thanks very much.